So now let's look at this uh, simple example uh, whereby we are asked to obtain an expression for the pressure of air in these systems. So here we have a, a container whereby at the top is air and at the bottom are filled with oil. And this is actually connected with a system of manometer which consists of air and mercury as shown in this diagram here. So we are asked to find the expressions for the pressure of this air inside the tank. So let's draw a schematic diagram of this fluid system. So we have a container like that, whereby at the top there is air and at the bottom here we have oil where the specific gravity is equal to 0 0.8 then we have a, a manometer system like that so given that the oil goes up to here and then from there to there we have Air again, then we have mercury called this density rho A, and this one here is rho M. Let's draw our datum. This is our datum where z is equal to zero. So I'm going to call this point here point one, this is point two, this is point. Three and this is point four, and this gives me my set one, set two, set three, and set four. And also, given that this one is equal to L one, and this height difference is equal to L two, and this height difference is equal to L three. So now I can write equations for P1. I can write directly. So P1 is equal to P4 plus from there to there is rho mercury G Z4 minus Z3. That gives me the pressure here plus rho air G Z3 minus Z2. That gives me the pressure here plus rho oil G. Z2 minus Z1. Now that gives me the pressure here. Right. So now, what do I know? I know that this is equal to PADM because it's open to atmosphere. Z4 minus Z3. Z4 is bigger than Z3, so L3. Then Z3 minus Z2. Z3 is shorter than Z2, so this is minus L2. And Z2 and Z1, Z2 is higher than Z1, so L1. So I can write P1 is actually equal to PATM plus rho MGL3 minus rho AGL2 plus rho oil GL1. But this is given as S, so S oil here. So of course, the definition is rho oil over rho water, which is equal to 0 0.8, right? So rho oil is equal to S oil, rho water, right? So we can write P1 is equal to PATM plus rho mercury GL3 minus rho AGL2 plus S0 rho water G. Uh, one right so that is the expressions for pressure of air inside this tank okay so now let's look at this examples so in this example we have a uh, pistons which weigh 100 newton so this piston is enclosed in a hollow cylinder and the system is connected with a tube of diameter one centimeter as shown in this figure here 
So initially, the piston is resting on the stopper. And the fluid level is as shown in the diagram. So what will happen is that we will pour liquid into this tube and we can envisage that the fluid level initially will rise up to certain level whereby the pressure at the bottom here is just enough to balance the weight of the piston which is pushing downward. Right. Okay. And then the question says that we have to pour more oil whereby the oil specific gravity is equal to 0 0.85 that will allow us to measure the density of the oil until the piston rise by a further one centimeter from its original position. So it means that initially it's like this with the oil level up to certain level. Then after that, the piston will go up, let's to here, whereby the height here is one centimeter. And then the height of the oil is will be much higher. So we asked to determine what volume of oil would have to be added to cause the piston to rise by one centimeter from its original positions. So let's first of all draw a schematic diagram before we add oil. So we have this piston system. So that's the stopper, and let's say that's the piston, and it's connected to a, a tube. Okay, let's write everything that we know. This is diameter of the cylinder is equal to four centimeter, and the diameter of the tube is equal to one centimeter and the weight is 100 newton and given that this one is 4 cm given that this one is 6 cm then initially the fluid level is up to here and this fluid here as s is equal to 0 0.85 so now afterward, what will happen is that we have to draw this again. That's the stopper. So the pistol will rise by Now call that height, let's say is equal to A. This is the initial level. Then let's say it rise up to this level here. So if I were to call this height equal to H. So this is the original fluid level. So we can see that the volume of fluid added will consist of this, this amount of fluid plus this amount of fluid in the smaller tube here. Now call this point here point one and point here point two. I'm gonna call here this point here point three, point three, same level as that. So we asked to find the volume added. So we know from this diagram that the volume added will consist of this and this. So if I were to write volume added will be equal to this volume. So pi dc squared over four will give us this area multiplied by a will give us this volume plus this one here by d cube squared over 4 multiplied by h plus 
a right so basically in order to find out this we know a we know dc we know dt the only thing which is unknown is h here so this is where we need to apply and use the piezometric equation in order to find h because if we apply now piezometric equations from 1 to 2 you can easily write that p1 is actually equal to p2 plus rho oil g z2 minus z1 or is equal to p2 plus rho or g h right okay so we have p1 is equal to p2 plus rho or g h now if you consider p1 so consider p1 yeah so basically this is the distance so the force acting downward will be equal to weight plus PATM multiplied by the area of the cylinder right so the pressure here point one P1 will be equal to PATM plus weight divided by area of the cylinder whereas P2 P2 is equal to PATM. So now what we can do, we can substitute this fact into these equations. So we can write PATM plus weight divided by area of the cylinder must be equal to PATM plus rho oil GH. This will allow us to calculate H this cancel so H is equal to the weight divided by area of the cylinder divided by density multiplied by G so if I substitute the value so the weight is 100 Newton area is by the radius of the cylinder is 0 0.02 square multiplied by 1 over density of the oil is 0 0.85 multiplied by 10 to the 3 so that gives me h is equal to 9.54 meter right okay so knowing that i can then Calculate the volume the third, because the only thing which is unknown here is H. So put all the value. So I have pi 0 0.04 squared over 4 0 0.01 because A is equal to 1 centimeter plus by 0 0.01 square over 4 because the diameter is 1 centimeter and then just now we have calculated h 9.54 plus 0 0.01 centimeter that will give us the volume at the is equal to 7.63 times 10 minus 4 meter cube right okay so now the volume that has to be added is equal to 7.63 times 10 to minus 4 meter cube. The pressure measuring devices that we looked at uh, earlier were all related to manometer, but there are other devices which can be used to measure pressure. For example, in bottom gauge, bottom gauge is a device which is used to measure gauge pressure uh, which is based on the deflections of tube when it is subjected to certain value of pressure so if we have a tube 
and the tube is subjected to certain value of pressure. So what will happen is that the tube will try to straighten, which will cause the pointer here to move. And the movement of the pointer can be calibrated with respect to the value of pressure. And we can use that device to measure the gauge pressure. Another equipment which is normally used to measure pressure is consists of strain gauge. So here we have a piezo resistive materials whereby the deflections due to the pressure will cause it to have different resistance and hence generate different value of voltage across the strain gauge. And the value of the voltage can be calibrated with respect to the value of pressure and then that will give us the value of pressure.